Come, let us kneel before our maker. Let us bow down and kneel before our maker. Can I hear a good old man? Amen. Because you're not going to be, when you're bowing and worshiping and singing and dancing, you don't care how good the tune is. You don't care how good the notes are. You don't care how good the chords are. You don't care if it's a choir or a battalion. Amen. Because you're focused on Yahweh's goodness, so you're just being prompted to focus in on Yahweh's goodness and not the goodness of anything else that's going on around us. Amen. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Amen. So it's my job to get in the spirit. It's not the job of the worship leader to take me into the spirit. It's, the it's my job to get in the spirit. Just like I do all the other days of the week. It's my job. It's your job. Mm -hmm. It's an individual job. Tehillim 99, verse 9. And that's the struggle. Because in the spirit, you're indestructible. In the spirit, you don't care about living four more years, two more years, good report from the doctor, bad report. When you're in the spirit, you overcome everything. Mm -hmm. So the struggle is to get in the spirit. That's where the struggle is. The devil wants to keep that in the spirit. And the doorway into the spirit is adoration and worship. If you don't open the door, you won't enter. And go in and out and find pasture. You sure will be some historical figure that you, that you know loves you. What do they do? If my life is falling apart and I'm struggling, and I have some historical figure that lived 3,000 years ago who I know loves me, what good is that? I need a real Yeshua for a real today, for real problems, and real things that you and I face in the world. And the way Yeshua becomes real is through intimacy and revelation where every day he shows you and he encourages you and he admonishes you and he, and he builds you up. But you've got to open that door and you open that door through adoration. You open that door through worship and proactively seeking him. Can I hear a good amen? amen. Because let me tell you, that's the struggle. Yeshua loves you. That's a settled deal. Yeshua has bought you with a price. Come on in, honey. Sit down. He's washed you. He's forgiven you. Well, those things are accomplished. Now it is getting fat and abundant and build up on that love. That's where the battle is. So, so the battle is not in the blood. The blood has won the battle. The battle is not in the Holy Spirit. You have the Ruach HaKodesh. The battle is to keep you out of a worship, a living, vibrant, vivacious, ongoing worship experience with the living Yah. Can I hear a good on me? Uh -oh. Come on. That's where the battle is. Mm -hmm. Brothers and sisters. Honey, can you get that? Thanks. Thank you. That's where the battle is. And then as soon as you get on the computer or the phone, you know, hey, because uh -oh. you know how it is with the auto mechanic, don't you? Oh, yeah. If you don't get him early in the morning, what's going to happen to your car? You don't get him at all. He won't be ready. Mm -hmm. And then after you're arguing with him for an hour, and then an hour later he calls you back and tells you that uh, the credit card is no good. Now you have your car sitting in the shop, and you have no way to get pick up the car because he won't release the car to you. Your day shot. You should have started actively saying, Yahweh, I love you. Mm. Yahweh, reveal to me. Yahweh, put me at peace. Yahweh, give me tranquility. And then, not everything would have gone perfectly. No, not everything would have gone perfectly. But you would have been the, you would have had the valiance and the power and the glory and the anointing to overcome whatever the devil threw at you Amen. that way. That's the struggle. It's my struggle, so I know it's your struggle. And it has nothing to do with Shabbat. It has nothing to do with Torah. It has to do with discipline. Oh. <laughs> Worshipping. Oh, wow. Loving. Seizing Him for all His goodness and everything that He is. 99.9. Yes. 99.9. Nine. Exalt Yahweh our Elohim and worship, worship at His Kadosh mountain. For Yahweh Elohim is Kadosh. What is that all about? It didn't say worship Yahweh. It didn't say exalt Yahweh. Don't worry, that's my grandson. Just, just ignore. He's worshiping. <laughs> exalt Yahweh Elohim and worship. That's the way we got to be. That's exactly the way we got to be. Like, like, like an, an overactive grandchild. <laughs> right now notice it doesn't say exalt Yahweh in your pajamas. Uh oh. Exalt Yahweh when everyone's offline. No. Exalt Yahweh in his mountain. Mountain? You know what mountain means? That means I've got to do some work and climb up to his presence and wave my hands and lift my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help, 
My help comes from me. I've got to go up. I've got to be a burnt offering. I've got to ascend. I've got to take the first few steps to start ascending his mountain. Chris, when I start ascending his mountain, he descends. That's what happened today. Yahweh shut us down. He said the service was boring. <laughs> so kids, you're not the only one. Not the only one. Our services, like any religious service, can get boring. Because we, we have the, everything is, is spelled out in order. A, B, C, D, and we very rarely hardly depart from the, from the order. Except today. Except today. Well, Yahweh broke in, praise Yahweh, and he, and he, and he poured out his, his teferit tefir, upon us. So we've got to climb. It's always action. It's always seged. It's always proactive adoration. Tehillim, 138 verse 2. Oh, yes. Nina, Nina you can come in. Like, we don't bite. Yes. Don't worry about the noise. We've been having a lot of noise here today. Tehillim, 138 and verse 2. 138 and verse 2. I will worship towards your Kadosh Hekel. Notice, not Kanye West, but Yeshua East. I will worship toward your Kadosh Hekel, East. And Hallel your name for your loving chesed and for your amen. For you have magnified your word and your name above all. So when we worship toward his Hekel, which is East, it's, we have to take the step to move East, to focus East, to focus toward the things of Tzion and Yerushalayim. And when we praise his name for his loving chesed, his kindness, and for his truth, and for his word, which he has magnified above his name. So we worship him, listen, in order for his word to be magnified in our life. Magnified means you get the revelation, not somebody else. You enter the intimacy, not somebody else. Nice. I mean, it's okay for other people to receive Yahweh's favor, but isn't it nice once in a while for Yahweh to show you something that he shows very few people or that he's never showed anybody? Isn't that nice once in a while? Okay, but here is how we do it. Notice it's all worship. Worship is the entrance. Where are we? 138.2? 138, yes. 138, two. I will worship your way, Yahweh. Your instructions. I will take the first step. I'll climb the mountain. I'll shut off the TV. I'll turn off the telephone. I won't listen to the messages. Uh -oh. I won't freak out. I'll trust you with my wife, my husband, with my children, even though they're not here. And then when I enter into the doorway of intimacy, you will magnify your word. You will magnify revelations, deep and mighty things. You know why? Because it is written in Devarim 32 that the things that are revealed belong to us and our children forever. The things that are hidden belong to Yahweh Elohim. Amen. Mm. So if there are things that have not been revealed to us and our children, go get it. Let down your net for a catch. Enter into that intimacy. Yeshua came to establish intimacy with us. And that's what my keyboard is all about. My teaching gift is for you, Vincent. My gift of teaching, which is a mighty gift, praise Yahweh, is for you. But my worship is not for you. My worship is for Yahweh. Amen. That's... that's the blessing. But I know if I keep doing this his way, he's going to magnify his word Amen. in my life. He'll show us great and mighty things that we knew yes. not. The word of Yahweh says what? Yahweh. Call unto me and I will what? Answer thee and I will what? Show thee great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Yes. Yirmiyahu 33 3. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Eob 2.20. Eob. Job. If you need a job, no problem. Just turn to Job. Just turn to Job. Say, I got Job. I got a Job. Eob. You might need the pages of Job. 2.20. That's right. That's right. 2.20. Eob 2.20. Of course, there is no 220, so that's, that's even a better trick. Let's try 120. I'm sorry, there you go. Thank you, Yahweh. Eov 120. Eov, 
arose and tore his mantle.